Hello, my name is Greg. I'm from RV Haulers and today in this video I'm going to take you on a detailed tour of this finished RV hauler. It's ready to tow, it's set up for a smart car, motorcycle, ATV, and it's got the workstation configuration in the back of the sleeper, the table and benches. If you're interested in a detailed tour, join me in this video. I'm going to take you on a nice slow tour around the exterior of this RV hauler to show you some of the features that we've done, some of the unique features that we've done. And I'm also going to take you on a tour on the inside. This is the largest sleeper that Volvo made. This is a Volvo Model 780. You'll recognize it as a 780 because it has two windows stacked on top of each other. And you'll see, we'll start at the front and I'll show you that this truck, I know the history of this truck since it was new. One owner drove this commercially, a husband and wife. I remember when I first met them, um, the wife shook her finger at me and when I first went to look at this truck before purchasing it. She said, Greg, you take your shoes off before you go in my truck. Yes, ma'am. Of course, I'm going, yes, that's the kind of truck I want. So non-smoking interior, this was their home. This was their livelihood, so they really respected it. So it's outfitted with a Magnum Moose bumper. So this is a really heavy duty bumper. We've upgraded the headlights to dual Xenon headlights. So lots and lots of illumination. And I gotta stick with tradition. I'm sorry folks, but I gotta count rock chips. Oh, that's a bug. Okay, let's count rock chips. Wait, wait, there's got, oh, there's one. There's a number two. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll find some over here. Oh, there's one down there. So what are we up to? Three? Uh, oh, one down here. Four. I, I really need to get out a little bit more. I should find something else to count. I'm kind of like the count on, on Sesame Street. One, one rock chip, two, two rock chips. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So obviously we have a beautiful paint condition on this truck. We have put on brand new Michelin steer tires. We have brand new tires on the back. We've done some upgrading to chrome all the way around. We've got some what we call chicken lights along the bottom, so that chrome and illumination along the bottom. Of course, if you're ever looking for one of my units, one of my points of pride, I, I like to show what when they're mine. They say rvhaulers.ca there on the bottom. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of a wider view for a minute here. And if you look, you see this drawn box or storage box that's on the back? It's been, um, we have painted this one in bed liner. So it really is tough for storing all of your, maybe your full timing contents in there. What I'll also point out is this is actually an oversized drum. Normally the drum comes and goes, it's 16 inches deep. It goes out to the end of the fairing here. But this one you'll see is extra long. So if you've got a lot of extra contents, if you're full-timing RVing and you need a place to put your Christmas ornaments, you can put a lot in that drum box. Now we've set up this bed for a smart car and I want to explain something really important to you. So the, this RV hauler, we can remove that drum box, put on a smaller one and it'll carry a smart car. Leave the drum box and if you're some of the folks that have been asking me for it, the large drum box will still allow like an ATV, a, a four-wheeler, or a Honda Goldwing, or a motorcycle up there. A golf cart will still fit, not a smart car. Now, another point, just to make it clear, this length is not set up for lengthwise loading. So I can't put a Jeep up there, can't put a four, you know, four-door car. It's for a smart car width-wise, and we'll make a smaller drum box or it's right now set up for a large motorcycle or a couple of smaller motorcycles. So we've got lots of storage boxes underneath. For a hitch system, we've got the ET Senior hitch on there. 
Um, so the hitch is capable of up to a 7,000 pound pin weight pushing down and gross trailer weight of a 30,000 pound trailer. All right. And we set this one up with a million D rings all the way around the outside. So we've got them in all the corners. We've got a whole bunch around the back. Um, it's kind of nice. Now you're going to see something a little bit different on the side of the strong box. What we have here is, oh, I got something hiding. I didn't mean to keep secrets from you, but behind that lower fairing is a diesel auxiliary power unit. It draws from the diesel tanks. It's a diesel generator. And what it provides is a 30 amp power to either the, you know, the outlets on the inside of the sleeper. And I've also got set up here, whoops, that was kind of loud, a 30 amp plug. So you can power your RV from my RV hauler. Kind of cool. So if you're boondocking, you've got almost an endless supply of diesel on board this truck. Now, let me tell you about the engine. It's programmed for 500 horsepower. Of course, this has the I-shift transmission, so no clutch on the floor. Just put it in drive and go. Let's go inside. First thing I want to point out to you is this is the most luxurious model that Volvo made. It's got the swivel seats. So both of these seats rotate and face rearward. I didn't do the driver's seat. I'll do that. Hang on. There. So the seat's facing rearward. Now this one we've set up with our flush-mounted camera system. Let me put the keys in. I'll show you how that works. So you hit the camera button here. And we've got a magnet mounted hitch camera so we can, right now we're looking just straight out the back of the RV hauler, but we can take that camera and have it point at the hitch as well for connecting and disconnecting. We've got Sirius XM and a Bluetooth ready Panasonic stereo with up in here is an amplifier for the subwoofer that's right there. So a really nice sounding stereo. But it, I'm, I'm proud to show some people really have pride in their vehicles. And if you look, there's no scratches on the dash. All the plastics are beautiful. And hey, let's just zoom in right here on the mileage. 587,000 miles, really impressive. We've got the upgraded maximizer floor mats. Those are really nice to be able to lift those up and take them out to wash them off. And here is the workstation configuration. So that table folds down and those cushions go all the way across to make actually a super sized or super single mattress. And up above, we've got another full single size mattress. And to the left of this is a ladder that folds down. So you undo these Velcro straps and the ladder folds down for being able to get up on top. This is a clothes cabinet with a clothes rod in there. And usually we will put either a microwave or maybe a fold out arm for a TV, flat panel TV back there. But there's lots of storage. And I'll swing around. So on this side, again, we've got another cubby for a microwave, Keurig. Maybe, you know, because we have an inverter in this truck as well, there's a Magnum 1500 watt inverter down there. Maybe you want to have your crock pot running while you drive. But we've got drawers and below the drawers is 
a decent sized refrigerator with a freezer on the top and nice and clean. Something else that's a really nice option, and we tend to find these a little bit more in our Canadian trucks, is it has a dual Webasto system. So there is a diesel fired heater <clears throat> underneath one of these bench seats that will warm and control the temperature of the sleeper. It works really well. You don't have to idle the engine. It's really quiet and it just sips the fuel. The second Webasto is controlled underneath the stereo and it's made for preheating the engine before you start it. So what it tells you is when we've seen, you know, a husband and wife that they really outfitted this truck so well, our idling hours are way lower, right? We haven't been running the truck to heat it. We haven't, we, we've been treating the, tr the engine with kid gloves, right? Pre-warming it before you turn the key. And of course having the APU or the diesel generator, we weren't having to idle the truck as well. So this one was really set up beautifully. I have a request of you. If there's something you would like to learn more, uh, you know, you'd like me to zero in or focus in on in these RV hauler videos, please let me know. If you have questions, this is the forum for you to ask your questions. Please post your questions down below. And I really do try to answer almost every question that appears there. So be a little patient with me because sometimes I got to actually work on trucks for my customers. You know, if we look outside the window here, we've got Oh, who do we have lined up <clears throat> right now? We've got Ruby, who's going to be converted for some folks. We've got uh, Rudy, we've got Maverick, we've got Iggy, and we've got Smokey all lined up. We've got Riker in the shop right now. We've got some others that we're working on. If you'd like to see what is coming down the queue and some of the other things we're doing, hit the subscribe button. So press that little bell on the side it lets you know when something new has been published but thanks for your questions thanks for watching my videos hey i love what i do and i'd love to build one for you my name is greg i'm the guy that answers the phone i'm the guy that designs these i'm the guy that works on them I, i'm hands-on and i would love to build one for you what would be the perfect rv hauler for your travels let me know. I'm Greg from RV Haulers. Hey, we're going to bring up some other videos here on the screen. Maybe you're interested in seeing some of our other ones that we've published before. But thank you for watching. <laughs>